What's up everybody welcome back it's your boys this is offbeat back with another episode slash kind of review of something that we want to talk about that we've been wanting to talk about <laughs> this was uh episode 14 and before we talk about all that shit before we talk about the review uh if you like the gameplay in the background the game is called valheim Fucking a game that we've been fucking with lately. Uh, an amazing early access game that came out. This game is only on PC, unfortunately, but play that shit if you got a PC. If you don't, get a PC. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah. And if uh, you're listening to this on Spotify, Apple, all that shit. Give this shit a thumbs up. Fucking rate it. Five stars. Mm-hmm. Follow, download, whatever you need to do. Support your boys. <sighs> Shout out all to all that, that listen to us. us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All that will help us in the algorithm so more people can hear our beautiful fucking voices. Exactly. Like I said, we wanted to talk about a little review of something or opinions on something, which. Obviously, if you read the title, Snyder about, Cup, bitches. <laughs> it's about Finally. Zack Snyder's Justice League. A movie we've been Success. waiting for for four years. I guess we could just say our overall opinion of the movie. I'll let you go first. You know what? If y'all want a quick and uh, easy, fast version, 10 out of 10, go watch it. We're done here. We're fucking done here. Episode done. <laughs> that's all if you that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. If you can't afford HBO Max, borrow $15, get HBO Max and give it a watch. It's worth it. Mm-hmm. Work an hour overtime and pay it back. That's it. Review over. Episode over. Five stars, like, comment, subscribe. We out, bitch. <laughs> Peace out. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, um. No, uh, if, if we're being real, um, obviously. When it first came out that this, you know, that Warner Brothers had given the go after we fought, uh-huh. you know, just like fucking uh, spoiler warning, spoilers. Yeah, sure. If you haven't I mean, watched fuck. the, if you haven't watched the movie, go fucking watch it. And if you don't give a fuck, then I it's guess gonna be who cares? Spoilers. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, it's gonna be very spoilery. I mean, it's hard not to talk about this without. Spoilers, Spoilers, right? Yeah. Um, so just warning. Warning. Once again. Fucking warning. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. But just like Darcy said, we used the old ways, dog. We brought out the hashtags and we made the Snyder Cut happen. Right? And since then, being that like so obviously when the the Justice League, right? Uh-huh. It, it had a lot of hate due to. Let's be honest, it was a poorly made fucking movie. That movie was the fucking cuts were bad. Ass. The, the 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 jokes were corny. Like it, it was just bad. The plot was terrible, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it was it was very easy to set expectations, right, for the Zack Snyder cut. Uh, the expectations that I had personally for myself about this movie. It ended up hitting all those expectations. Yes. And dare I say, maybe even exceeded a little bit as well. I think it was a wonderful movie. I think four hours was, I love that we had four hours of it. Not just two, yeah. not three, not three and a half, four hours. And from start to finish, I was engaged. The pacing was better. It flowed better. Mm-hmm. Right. The plot was amazing. They cut out so much. From Stephen Wolf to the bigger picture, it wasn't just Stephen Wolf, you know, coming to fucking look for the boxes and and fuck shit up, right? It was more to it, yeah, right. There was more depth to it. 
um, it was in Steppenwolf saying mother 24 7. Yeah, talking there's to a the reason. Like, yeah. yeah, there's a reason for him wanting like, to do all this. It's it's crazy how much different of a villain he was when you had when you bring in everything that was cut out for him, mm-hmm. like the debt to him, um, his reasoning. It just made for a better plot, it made for a better reasoning. Of why he was doing the things he was doing, right? And then the same thing goes for Flash and fucking Cyborg. How do you cut all that out? Mm-hmm. Especially Cyborg. Like this is this gives a whole different feel and a whole different weight to Cyborg and his point in the movie and in the Justice League. Like, do it it's fucking baffling. It was baffling to me. Like, who which one of people in the fucking studio, or how did Joss himself? Look at this shit at the end and be like, "Oh, this is gonna make perfect sense." We're just gonna leave cyborg like this. This is good. Well, I guess you could like kind of say that like it's like the ego, like prideful people. You know, they 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 don't want to like admit that they're wrong. You know, that the mistake that they made. And honestly, I probably would have just been like, "Fuck, let's just use that version." <laughs> Low key. Even, even after everything, it's kind of like. Why? Why would you go through with it, man? Like, like who this? Who, yeah, who looked at that version and said that's the one we want? That's even, a good one right there. Like, even, what the even fuck though, is you watching? Even though, like, they did like interviews and all that, saying that, like, oh yeah, there's a bunch of people that watched it and like realize how trash it is. Like, come on. Yeah, and I don't know. Like, people complain about the four hour length, but it's crazy because everything that was shown in the original. And the theatrical version, mm-hmm. it it wasn't just useless minutes or second. Every minute, every second added to the overall picture. Yeah, right of the movie. So it wasn't just wasted time. Every minute counted. Every minute gave more depth to the overall plot. It's it, it's just crazy how much was taken out or mm-hmm. re or or reshooted from Sex Snyder's version. And I just. I mean, it was good. What can like, I say? Like, I guess, like, when it, when it comes down to the whole four-hour, like, oh, that's too fucking long. Look, at, I've seen movies that were, like, fucking, like, Lord of the Rings that is, like, over fucking three hours. So this, this shit don't phase me. But I yeah. think it was really surprising to see that a lot of people were, like, the ones that were complaining that it was four hours long ended up saying like oh my god like you don't even feel like it's four hours and i yeah feel like, exactly i felt like the movie was not four hours like i, I mm. felt like the movie was too short in my opinion <laughs> it, it just because the way it flowed right yeah yeah like it flowed so good that like it didn't feel like four hours yeah even with the i think someone put out i think it was ign or i can't remember but i guess they counted every minute of the slow-mo shots right and then they yeah. counted for 26 minutes Oh, but even with all that, like it just flowed perfectly. It was perfectly paced. It didn't just jump cut from one area to the other, just like the the Josh Whedon version. Mm-hmm. Right? It was jump cutting, like, like jump crazy. cut from this to scene, yeah. yeah, to this scene, to that scene, to that scene. It was just all over the fucking place. Like obviously, this like one's not obviously like the big difference between this one and the last one was obviously Cyborg's backstory, right? And yeah. more, more Flash as well, mm-hmm. more. Yeah, yeah, but like, like obviously, you know, Zach has been saying since the beginning that Cyborg was the heart of the story, and you know, in in his movie, right, and like from the beginning, you could see that that's like the big difference. Like a couple of differences is like Cyborg in in the Justice League just kind of felt like a a character that they're just throwing away. And this, they show you that, like, oh, my God, like, this guy, this being is a powerful being, and he has the power to decide what he wants to do with his life. Yeah. You know, he could be a dickhead. He could, you know, send out every nuke in the whole wide world with a single, like, you know, like a single look at it. But he chooses not to be that. Yeah, so you get to see really what he is actually capable of. Mm -hmm. And then you get to see how he's going to decide what to do with all this, you know, this gifts he's been given, right? Yeah. And due to what he decides to do with it shows you the type of person he is, which is all important for a character. 
Mm-hmm. Just like you said, he was basically wasted in the other version. And it, it honestly felt like he was just there. Oh, he was created from the mother box. That boom, right? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And now you get more to it. And hey, you you get to see his heart, you know, his humanity that's still there when most of him is now cyborg. I think even like when it came down to Cyborg's dad, they kind of made him seem like he oh. was just this evil person. When in reality, it's like I got a second chance just to a have scientist. a son, you know? Yeah. yeah. And in Joss's league, they made him that he's just a scientist; he doesn't care. And in a lot of ways, yes, that's how he is in the comic book. But I like this that like this is my second chance I have with my son. Like I'm not gonna waste that chance, you know? And it is in a, in a lot of ways. Just like in Man of Steel, there's a lot of heroes that are not just, you know, Batman, um, Superman, and all that. It's, you yeah. know, everyone is seeing what the heroes are doing, and they're all contributing, in, like, in a way. Yeah, even, like, Silas, right? Uh-huh, yeah, like Silas contributed to the plot. And, like, as you mentioned, instead of, like, he did what he did, not just as a scientist, but as a father yeah, as well. And you really get to see that in the last chapter of father twice over mm-hmm. right yeah uh, that hey that shit hit that shit hit deep okay <laughs> and then you get oh man it was just it's just, it just so baffling. much like it's just yeah. like it's so like I, I don't understand how you look at this as a as a as a movie studio and be like oh that that version is not good you know yeah like why the fuck did we have to wait four years for this? I don't know. But it was like... Obviously, the direction that he's going, it's like, it's his own thing. Mm-hmm. I love that. It's and a vision. I hate it. Yeah. It's not just I all over. It. Uh-huh. It's... Ooh, my computer. I don't know what the fuck. Okay, we good. We good. We good. <laughs> we good here, fellas. So... People... People will complain about... I know people... They were complaining about the blood, right? The fact that these heroes kill maybe the F bombs, which there was only really like two, right? Yeah. Um, but I love that it's kind of gritty that way. Let let and th- the problem with this is that too many people want to compare this to the MCU and what Disney's doing. Mm-hmm. Let them do whatever the fuck they want to do. It's work for them, right? They've had a lot of hits, a lot of success. I love Marvel as well, right? We're fucking geeks here. Yeah. We love all super we read comics of all, both, you know, Marvel, DC, other ones. <laughs> and that work, let them be that. The gritty, I mean not not the gritty, the happy, like very light, you know, jokes, funny, comedy type, right? I think the darkness and greediness for this, which I wouldn't even consider it that dark, to be honest. I think it works for DC. Especially with that grand scheme of all things, right? Yeah. Um, one of the biggest differences to the plot, like I said, with Stephen Wolf, is in the Josh Whedon version, it was just Stephen Wolf looking for the mother boxes so he can control, right? So he can conquer this world. But yeah. now it's just, in this version, it's more than that. Now it's not just about the mother boxes, but the anti life equation, right? Which in the grand scheme of things is way bigger. Yeah. And it's not just about Stephen Wolf, it's him trying to serve. Darcy so he can return home. And Darcy is the one that really wants this anti-life equation because he believes it to be his prize. And he just doesn't want to conquer Earth. He wants everything in the universe with this. Just like he says, right? All of existence will be mine. So it, it in terms of the whole universe as a whole, it's it's more grander. It's not just mother boxes, that's it. Because if you think about it, and the Josh Whedon version, it was com- almost like a dead end. If, all right, they stopped Stephen Wolf, or he ends up dying, right? Uh-huh. And now they have the mother boxes, because uh, obviously they took him apart. It's safe, now what? Without the anti-life equation brought into this, without Darkseid brought into it, it's technically an end. Right? Like a dead end. Like, oh, we did it. That's it. What now? Yeah, yeah, like, and now it's grander, uh huh. The bigger picture, and then you bring in the nightmare sequences, and then, dude, it's just it really was a whole different movie. 
while it still used some of the old scenes, right? Very little of it, I would say. I would say less than half were already scenes that were shot and were used. In the Whedon version, obviously, there's ones that were added and ones that were the original shoots that Zack Snyder did, you know, yeah. that were then later replaced. But even with the one, with all that, it it honestly feels like a different movie. It feels, it runs, it looks like a different movie. Yeah. Um, I guess going back to what you said, like with the with the Joss's League, uh, yes. the way the way the, the way it ends, it it kind of feels like there's no vision towards that movie, no. and in this particular movie. And you know, Batman vs Superman and Man of Steel. There's always felt like there's a vision behind it. That there was one man, you know, trying to make something, trying to create a, a fantasy world, right? And obviously, you see the grand picture. Okay, this is what's gonna happen. Well, that's what he was setting up for, you know. And you know, I feel like when it comes down to Warner Brothers and uh, all the executives there. They don't understand when it comes down to like a vision. They're trying to, you're trying to mimic what MCU is doing, but the one thing that the MCU has that you don't have is they have a vision on what they're gonna do. They mm-hmm. they all agree with it. You had two directors that had visions with their comic book movies. You had Christopher Nolan who made a vision with his fucking movies. And you had Zach after Christopher Nolan that had a vision with his movies. Ever since, you know, whatever happened with Zach and Warner Brothers, well, obviously everyone fucking knows. Um, you kind of, after, I guess this, after the Justice League or Joss's League, and it started being like Aquaman and Wonder Woman and all that, Shazam, all these DC movies that came out, Bird to Prey, it seems like those movies are just they they just have no vision like there's nothing there's not a grand scheme of things that are going to make it work and i'm not saying that everything needs to connect to each other because i'm gonna watch the batman movie and that's not going to connect in in like in all reality but at least you know have a vision on what you're trying to do things you know like i don't know it's just it's annoying to me that you know the person that did give you a vision regardless if you liked it or not you know, you should have just rode the wave. You probably would have like introduced these these situations that could have could could have offered more in in a lot of in a lot of storytelling ways. And you know, it's 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 fucking stupid. Okay, I'm mad. <laughs> and honestly, yeah, it it is very frustrating, especially one as a fan who was looking forward to this. Exactly. You know, because even from the first Avengers, right, when it first came out, the very first Avengers, Mm -hmm. I'm like, I, as bad as, as, you know, back then to me, that movie was everything. I was younger, right? Yeah. There's a, this is the first time we're ever seeing all these heroes come together and all that, you know, even if the movie as like a cinematic standpoint was not really good, (laughs) right? Um, Yeah. For me, it held deep because, you know, growing up, with both DC, Marvel, right, fans, you get to see this in the movie now, them coming together. And from that moment, whenever I first saw that movie, I was like, I can't wait to see the to see the DC version of this. Yeah. I can't wait to see one day when there's a Justice League. And due to that, you know, I was like, I know this is gonna be possible now. You know, they just proved Avengers had just proved that you can do this, a team up, right? I was like, and now I can't wait. For this to happen on the DC side. And now because of this whole bullshit that happened with Zack's. Now it kind of ruined because Zack had a plan for more. You know the trilogy of the Justice League. And it was going to tie in other ones. Right? We're going to get Green Lantern. We're going to get eventually Shazam and all that. To th- The crazy part is now that this bullshit happened. Right? And we've had news that Warner Bros. doesn't want to continue you know, with with the Snyderverse, right? Now these movies are all coming out. Shazam, you know, Black Adam is going to come out. Aquaman's going to come out. They're already talking about the second one. Yeah. Flashpoint, right? Um, they're already talking about Wonder Woman 3. 
it's cool we're getting these standalones, but that's what is that going to lead to? You know, where's the vision up beyond these just standalones? As much as we want these standalones, as much as they're going to be fun to watch, you know, it'd be to me more worth if all that in the end led to what you know Zach was Snyder was was thinking with Justice League two and Justice League three, you yeah. know. So now I do, I'm curious to know where that's gonna go. I mean, yeah, cool standalones. I'll, I'll watch him, right? I love them. You know, there's going to be characters that I still love and will want to watch, but it doesn't excite me if I don't see that going more. And and I guess to add on to that, I don't know why, uh, for some reason, Warner Brothers can't put it together that you could have two separate things going at the same time. Um, if you want to do these standalones, hey, I'm with it, you know? I want to see Black Adam. I want to see the Batman. I want to see the Flash movie. I want to see all these movies. But that doesn't mean that, like, hey, you saw how much money, you know, however much money Zack Snyder's movie made you. Obviously, there's a fucking fan base that wants to watch that fucking trilogy. Or, you know, the five-part sequel. Mm-hmm. Why not just fucking do that? Have it be its own universe and everything else can be its own thing. That's not a hard concept to fucking grasp at. You know, no, it just it just sucks because all these movies were made in mind with in the future Justice League Two and Justice League Three, right? Yeah. I mean, when you know we're gonna get a second Aquaman, obviously his first introduction was I guess BVS, right? Technically, you know, Justice League. Same for Flash. Um, but even then, like Suicide Squad was made within the same universe right in the dcu mm-hmm. uh same for shazam right same for birds of prey all these movies were in the idea that they were going to be in the same universe and eventually like i said it was all going to go in into this big old climactic thing going into justice league 2 and justice league 3 mm-hmm. right and i feel like we won't get to see that anymore and it's a shame, but it is what it is. Like mm-hmm. I said, I'm I'm down for the standalones. I would just say fuck it. Uh, but I, it's just more like what could have been now, you know, type of thing. I guess so. That's the that's the only one damn thing. But I agree. I mean, eh, I wouldn't mind seeing. Like I'm excited for Robert Pattinson's Batman, right? Mm-hmm. But if y'all gave us a Ben Affleck's own Batman. I wouldn't mind that at yeah, all. No, Let them no be their own things. Yeah, no one, no one's gonna complain. Yeah, nobody's. You know, people in you know for Jared Leto's Joker, right? Obviously, people love the Joker from the Joaquin Phoenix, right? People, they, you know, as much as hate as Jared Leto got, you know, he his performance. I mean, it's only it was only like what five minutes, if that mm-hmm. was a little bit better, but that doesn't take anything away from joaquin's joker right yeah you could have joaquin's people, and yeah. jared leto's at the same yeah, time people say i fuck with both of these now if this is the type of joker we're gonna get from jared leto i don't mind it like i can love this joker just as much as i love joaquin phoenix's joker right it doesn't have to be yeah no, no, no. yeah no one's gonna fight like like it's cool like i'm down to have robert Pattinson's batman and have fucking Ben Affleck's Batman. God willing, he was willing to come back. You know. Yeah. Like, fuck. You I don't can even, mind that. You, you can even add like how they're trying to do with Michael Keaton. It's like you could add in another Batman. I don't give a fuck. Add in as many Batmans as you want. I don't care. Like. Fuck yeah. I mean, you guys already basically. Well, I mean, they said that the Zack Snyder verse is not canon, which I don't know fucking why. Uh huh. Like I said, the Josh Whedon version is just a fucking dead end. But in the Zack Snyder version, they they talked about multiverse. Multiple times. Yeah. Right? So it exists. And, and I think that would be, if it was if that was canon, it'd be perfect. Cause then you could have all these Batmans, all these jokers. And then even if like even if the multiverse doesn't exist, your core fan base knows what the multiverse is. So who gives a fuck? Yeah. Look, all I'm saying when it comes down to, you know, 
obviously people are not going to stop tweeting about restoring the, the Snyder Cut, right? Um, restoring the Justice League, like Zack Snyder's Justice League, right? Or the... What are they calling it? Restore the, the universe, Zack's universe? I don't know. The Snyderverse? Yeah, something like that. And so um, it happened? Well, I mean... Dude, Hashtag? dude, this movie came out. I think That's if you kind of continue on... <laughs> yeah i mean it's already turn like trending on twitter and like obviously w- w- the fans got what they wanted they forced the hand of warner brothers to release the movie they got what they wanted even though if it was on hbo max it doesn't matter we still got what we wanted mm-hmm. and at the end of the day whatever you know i forgot you know her name um whatever she says one of the head of warner brothers on um, pictures she she could say whatever she wants again she's not the boss of warner media she's not the ceo of warner media and obviously i feel like he kind of pulled up like plug and said hey you know what let's just release the snyder cut people fucking want it let's do it i'm pretty sure if he sees that the people want it of course no one's gonna turn down fucking money so you know that's true Eventually, you know, people can change their minds. Yeah, they could say that now, but they said that the Snyder Cut wasn't coming out. And four years later, it came out. So we could pretty much force their hands again. Zach left the door open. Hey, if they want to continue it, I'm here. I mean, Ben was willing to come back and shoot some more sh- like scenes as Batman. I'm pretty sure he will come back. I'm pretty sure Henry will come back. I'm pretty sure all these people will come back. Hey, your boy was looking skinny, though. He said, I ain't working out for this new shoots. <laughs> Your hey, good for him little, though. Hey, your boy was looking a little fragile. All right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But you know, get them weights. I know you. I know you're hurting. You know, I know they had my ass and all that. Hey, hey, get yourself back in the gym. Fucking get buff as fuck again, Ben. And you can get any bitch you want, brother. <laughs> Chill. All right, but like you know, again, it doesn't matter what they say. You know, we put it out there that we want it. We'll probably get it. Do this the old way. Mm-hmm. Ready the armada. Yeah. Armada. <laughs> get your tw- get your fucking hashtags ready. And oh, you know. Uh huh. Go ahead. And we didn't even talk about the movie. I think we we're just talking about the behind the bit. scenes because I feel like, you know, I love the movie. I think the mm-hmm. movie is like a, a solid nine out of ten with like certain things that didn't, you know. I feel like I feel like it's a nine out of ten for me because I know I'm not getting anything else from it. And that was a takeaway from the movie. So I guess technically the movie is a 10 out of 10 for me. But Mm -hmm. I just, I want more. Like, I don't want this to be the end. I want to see all these people back. And, Uh, you know, whatever they're saying, they're just trying to make everyone seem. Because obviously she came out and said all these things about Snyder's fan base, right? mm -hmm. How, How they're toxic and this and that. But before we get into that, no, before we get into that, I guess. are, though. Fuck it. <laughs> That's just how we do shit. That's how shit gets done, being toxic. Oh, um, but before, you know, we get into that, because I do want to rant about that for a bit. Um, Like I said, the movie's a 10 out of 10. It does drop down a little bit just because I do want to see more. And yeah. obviously, you know, a lot of people, I think a lot of people want to see it continue. You know, from it being 60% on Rotten Tomatoes from the audience, to now 97, 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's like, that's Isn't fucking like crazy. Something on IMBDM? IMBDM. Yeah. IMBDM. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> <the fuck? laughs> I just made up a new fucking website. Let's go. IMBD, uh, right? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. obviously people, they kind of, I think people want to see this continue. So yeah, Critics are still hating on it, but I don't take, I, I, I take, for me, the opinions of the audience Holds more weight than critics. Mm-hmm. And um, kind of to bring it back about the movie, a MVP uh, Flash? Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> dude, oh, no. how the hell? MVP, hey, dog, that, sh- that scene? <sighs> like, who the fuck? Who the fuck thought it was a good idea to make Flash such a bitch in the Justice League that in this fucking movie, he <laughs> seems like the fucking Flash? What is what? Uh, what did he say in the old one? The just that's Vieski. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? 
<laughs> Thought that was a good idea, bro. Uh. God, I hope this is East. Oh, like, bro. Oh, that was fucking like, wild. Hey, and can we appreciate how fucking badass Superman is? Yeah. No corny jokes. Came back. Got down to fucking business, dog. You, you know, Man, you know, fucking hands, bro. You know what we could appreciate? None of these dumbass shots that were like, "Oh, I'm gonna fall on you and I'm gonna land on your tits," or you know, all this shit about, "Oh, you women will love me" and shit. You know, this movie made everyone strong. I'm telling you, everyone was a fucking hero that fought. Wonder Woman got yeah. her due to this. Is. Exactly, okay. the Amazonians, the way they are. The way Crazy. they fucking chant, it's beautiful. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see these strong women, these strong, these strong people, and not just them. You know, even Silas being a strong person for what he's been through in his life, and you seeing how he reacted to seeing his son, it's like powerful. I love mm-hmm. that. This shit um, was a powerful fucking movie, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Aquaman wasn't over the top. Exactly. Either. Yes. Uh, but he was still funny. Like when they added those scenes with the Superman fight, right? When he came back, <laughs> that shit. You sometimes less is more, right? Mm-hmm. And that, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. When, he ta- when he tackles it, and like he didn't have to say shit, dude. He just fucking, he did what he did. I was like, this fucking guy. <laughs> it was funny. You know, sometimes less is more. And that's what we got a lot of. You know, they weren't over the top, corny jokes. Um, Superman. I think in terms of dialogue, he hardly had any, right? But you felt his presence when he did come out. So that was perfect example of less is more, simple. You know, for as dark as people may say it is, it still has its lights moment, light moments. You know, there is humor. These guys are people too, you know, some of them, right? So hey, did you like the design for Martian Manhunter? At first, it kind it was kind of weird to me, but then when it I grows rewatched, on you, right? yeah, it, it grew it, on me. Yeah, I was like, yeah. okay, you know what? It actually does seem good. He does seem like Martian Manhunter. I kind of like it. Yeah. Um. Well, uh, what's the what's the scientist's name? Ryan Cho. Cho, right? Ryan Cho. Why would you take him I, out? He was so fucking good in the movie. And for those who don't know, are in deep as the Adam. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Ryan Cho Jesus. is the item, like the Adam. Jesus, on the Adam. And you're like, how the fuck do you take like that's the Adam? You just gonna take him out of the movie? Like that's the tease right there, the tease. Yeah, like even though like he doesn't come out a lot, his scenes were so fucking good. Yeah. Like in the end, where he's like, oh, this is your, you know, this is your department now. You're the like the leader of this thing. He's like, oh, you're the head of um, nanoscience or some shit like that. And he's like, that's your and thing, you isn't it? And he's like, yeah. yeah, that's my thing. I'm like, yes, it's, yes. The Adam <laughs> there. So, you, I mean, you got the Martian Manhunter. You got the teases of Adam. You even right? got some teases of the Lanterns. Kilowog? I jumped out of my seat. Uh, when they closed up on him, <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> But like, like at the like, I don't know, man. I don't know. How do you take up, dude? How do you? It, it's just baffling to see how much was like changed. Go that's for, like just watch the movie. That's like if you were watching Attack on Titan, and instead of finding now Reiner's and everyone's backstory, they just took it out. Spoiler. Yeah, spoiler, spoiler alert for those who haven't watched Attack on Titan. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Hey, backstory. <laughs> Everyone gets backstory in anime. Okay. <laughs> But, but look, if, it's if like you, that. If you haven't watched any of season four or aren't caught up to season four and attack, what are you doing anyway? But that's besides the point. Like, okay, it's like without like because you know not everyone watches fucking animes. It's like you watch the Lord of the Rings and they don't explain to you. Um, spoiler: If you haven't watched Lord of the Rings, how Aragon gets the dead like the dead soldiers to side with him, you know? Like hey, it, he just comes out of nowhere and with those dead like they don't do that. They fucking show you. And if you haven't seen Lord of the Rings, reevaluate your fucking life. What are you doing, exactly. bro? Watch it. But I agree. I mean, that's story, character, debt, backstory is is everything, right? Mm-hmm. Um, 
you don't want characters just to be there just to be there you know and, and take space we want to know purpose you know why they're there and what led up to that like, and this is what we got like, you know this is what we got I feel like even with like the whole Barry Allen and like him talking to his dad, I felt it felt so much differently compared to how it was in the other one. I it feel was like less. Yeah. yeah, and it was like yeah. way less, but it's like I feel like with everything that's been hitting, you getting everyone's backstory, you know, the the emotion, the feelings that you're getting for the characters, it made even the like some of the scenes that came out in the 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 Joss's League, it made them seem better. Just um, how many times like, do we have to say it's it's a fucking better move? Okay, it's a better like move. That, the iris, yes, that shit was beautiful. And the score, that, we got to give a shout out to Junkie XL, Tom. I don't follow know how to Twitter. say his last name. Follow him on Twitter, Hawken, Hawkenberg. Yeah, follow him on Twitter. Uh, all his social media. Shout out to him because he did a fucking great job with the score. One one of the on best the- musicians in movie industry. Yeah, that shit. You felt that shit, dog. Yeah, you felt it, uh, dude. So shout out to him. Shout out to everyone that came back to fucking finish this fucking movie. Yeah. Shout out to Zach for not taking a single fucking dime to continue hey. to finish this fucking movie. Yeah. A hey, question. And the the Justice League, the Mira have an accent? No. <laughs> no, right? I, okay, I thought I was tripping for a second, and the movie sucked so bad for me. I didn't even want to go back to to check if she did. It's just been in the back of my mind. I was like, I don't remember her having a fucking accent. So when I first heard the accent, it, like it caught me off guard. I was like, wait, hold up. Did she have an accent before? I mean, she did. I thought yeah. I was tripping. It's whatever. So <laughs> yeah, no, I just it just caught me off guard the first time, and it's been in the back of my mind. I just can't get myself to watch Justice League scenes. Ever again. Just take that shit yeah, out of again. fucking HBO Max. Just take yeah. it out. No one okay. wants to watch that shit. Nobody wants to watch that garbage. I don't, I don't even want to get have the fucking sight of it when I'm on HBO Max. When I'm trying to fucking watch True Detective or something. Don't fucking show me Justice League, okay? Yeah, Unless like- it's Zack Snyder's. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what's how, how much time are we at? We're, we're like at? we're like at almost 40 minutes. But like 40? You know, like we said over and over again, the movie's a 10 out of 10. Watch the yeah. fucking movie. Watch it four fucking times. Just keep on fucking watching it. Don't unsubscribe from HBO Max so they can see how much fucking money they're fucking making. Now, yeah. before we end this, I'm going to end this shit on some toxic ass shit, but I don't give a fuck anymore. Because I'm tired of my dudes getting disrespected. Hey, take it to Twitter, bro. Hashtag. <sighs> I'm tired of the Snyder fans. Getting disrespected. I'm tired of Snyder getting disrespected. I'm tired of Ray Fisher getting disrespected. I'm tired of everyone that comes out in this fucking movie getting disrespected. Because whatever, I forgot her fucking name. That's how that's how meaningless you are to Warner Brothers and you know me that I fucking love films. I don't give a fuck who you are, but for you to say that everyone in the Snyderverse or you know everyone that's a Snyder fan that was tweeting out saying they want to see the Snyder cut. Or you saying that everyone was being toxic because of like we were doing that? You like are a piece of fucking shit just because you could say that shit, but you don't want to talk about the shit that Ray Fisher and all those people w- went through while they're working under your fucking ass. Okay, yeah, the bullshit you put them through. Exactly. Like, we are toxic. I, yeah, I'm, I'm a toxic guy. Well, I don't give a fuck. But look, it. You're gonna like this toxic too. <laughs> but like how, how can you be so hypocritical how can you be so like a double fucking standard that it's so fucking annoying that you could say these type of things but you don't fucking hold yourself accountable like fuck that fuck her I don't know her name I know it's like to an A but that's it yeah don't guys don't literally fuck her no no but. don't <laughs> but like, you know, she ugly anyway. Jace, Jason Killar, you know Warner Media CEO, bro. I'll get down on my knees, bro. All hey, right, bro. drop hey, the I'll fucking Snyderverse, dog. All right, <laughs> all right, homie. 
Come on. Hey, man. You, 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 saw, you saw what this shit made. Release more. Yeah, let, let, let the man do his thing, man. I mean... And obviously there's toxic people in the Snyderverse. Hey, fuck those twos, okay? In the Snyder Cut, I mean. I mean, Snyder fans. Okay. Every, every, every fucking fan base has toxic... Like, it's toxic. Yeah. Every fan base. It's just, the world's just toxic. Uh-huh. Being honest. It's just the times now. But hey, I, yeah, I'm, I agree, man. Let let your boy Zach Jack Jack do, Snyder because he's fucking Snyder, jacked. Do do his thing, you know. I I think I think he's the only one. Well, I don't want to say the only one, but I think his vision for it is a great one, and I would like for it to be, you know, like done all the way through. And be- before we end this, this is not talking shit about other directors. You know, James Wan, I think he has a, a good vision on Aquaman, and I, I want to see him continue doing Aquaman. Yeah, you know, exactly. I want to see I- Matt Reed's vision on the Batman. You know, Matt Reeves is one of my favorite directors. I think he's going to fucking kill it. I think he's going to do so amazing. You know, Kathy Yan with fucking Birds of Prey, she's an amazing director. Obviously, you have amazing directors. Just fucking use them and listen to them, please. Fuck. Yeah, let them let them do what they want to do with it. Like, don't be so controlling. You you lost you lost so many directors. Yeah, why fucking hire them in the first place? <laughs> you lost like you lost fucking David Ayer, who in my eyes is a fucking great director. You lost Rick. I don't know how to say his last name. I don't want to butcher it, but that guy's my boy, and he's an amazing director. You know, you lost fucking. You know, the, f- the original Flash directors, which I think it's something Miller. I don't know his name. But that guy went to go make the fucking Spider-Verse movie. And that shit was fucking amazing. Look what, yeah. you, look what happens when you get people fucking freedom to do shit. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't make sense when you hire someone, you know, to do their job. And then you don't want to do their job. Uh-huh. And then even that. Yo, you want to hire more directors? There's plenty of directors that Warner Brothers have worked with. That I bet will make killer fucking DC movies. Yeah. Hire them, dude. Let them like, fucking continue doing shit. Uh, DC is just getting started. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. You know? I'm excited, man. Um, I can't wait to see what the future holds. I think as a fan, I'm glad we got this movie. There's so many things we haven't even gotten into about this movie. You know? Yeah, I'm not like... But just it's know, just so uh, hard. It's so hard yeah, to talk about. The there's movie. just too much. It's it would be easier for you just to watch it. <laughs> and for those like for those who can't sit down and view four hours straight, I call bullshit because I knew most of you fuckers can binge watch like five or six episodes on Netflix. Exactly. It is divided into parts. Yeah, and you could take your time. Six parts. You could take your time. So each one is titled. It's almost like reading a chapter in a book, right? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, and it lets you know when it's done. So you can do it that way too. But in the end, just go watch it. It's worth it. It's worth the fifteen dollars. I mean, while you're at it, you can watch like all the good shit HBO has to offer. In fact, if you get HBO right now, you get to watch Kong for free versus Godzilla. Yeah, which so you're comes getting, out next. Yeah, week. You're, yeah, you 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 spend fifteen to go watch the fucking Justice League, and then. For you know, for that same amount, you get to watch, you get your money's worth. Godzilla versus Kong, yeah. you know, and you get to watch all the good shit that HBO Max has because low key that's become one of the sleeper streaming services. It is a banger. And In fact, I don't started. have Netflix. I haven't had Netflix for a couple months now because to me it is trash now. But to me, I'm getting my money's worth on HBO Max, especially with all these movies coming day one. Really yes, similar. the Matrix. Just, Let's go. Yeah, so you it's it's worth it. It's worth the fifteen dollars just to watch fucking Justice League in my eyes. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Right, but it's now better you're than spending, more. you know. It's better than spending thirty dollars to see Disney movies come out on Disney Plus on top of the fucking subscription. What the fuck is that? Yeah. So it's 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 worth it. <laughs> Fun movie, good movie, a lot of action, a lot of badassness, great plot. A lot of hearts. A lot of heart. Yeah. So. That's, I mean, I said my piece. Yeah, I said my piece.
even though I got a little bit toxic, I said my yeah, piece. It happens. They deserve it. They deserve all the criticism. You know, fuck them. They fucked it up. Hmm? R.I.P. Autumn. Yeah, R.I.P. Autumn. Yeah. All right. So since we're ending this, if you like the podcast, you're watching this on YouTube, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to talk about this shit, go down to the comment section below and comment yeah. some shit. Let us know whether you hated it, you liked it, yeah. you know, what you liked, what you didn't like. At the end of the day, it's your opinion, and no one can tell you it's wrong. Yeah. And you were always willing to have discussions with y'all, so. <laughs> yeah, and then if you're watching this on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Breaker, Anchor, whatever it is. Give that shit a like. Follow us on those shits. Rate us. Download our shit. Yeah. Put us out and there on the map, homies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let it, let it be known. You know, tell your homies, tell your friends, your wives. Your kids, fucking spread the word. Mm-hmm. Husbands, yes. Aunts, uncles, grandfathers, whatever. And uh, us also, you can follow us. We do have an official page for the channel, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, links will be in the description. Follow us there too on Twitter. You know, we be posting some dank memes. You know, retweeting some dank memes. <laughs> yeah. So it's worth it. Just for that, it's worth the follow. Yes, sir. Well, I guess. Goodbye. We out.